it was the worst year for a lot of us for our mental as well as physical health. So joining us this morning is best-selling author, coach, and fitness expert, Lisa Goldenthal. Thanks for coming to the Power Up Your Pivot 100th podcast series. Get ready to feel unstoppable, energized, resilient, unshakable, and unbreakable. Live your best life. We've all been knocked to our knees. Learn how to bounce back better, body, mind, and soul. Overcome the COVID curves and anxiety and live your best life so that you can be unstoppable, resilient, and have more energy. Set yourself up for the win. With us today is an esteemed wealth advisor and leader in self-mastery movement. He has a course called Stillness to Silence to help you make a change, cut through the noise, find your stillness and the success that you want. Author of the Get There, Chart Your Course to Financial Abundance with a spin that is badly needed. With all that you've been through, I wanted to introduce you to Ken Clodoris. Hey Ken, welcome. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me on. I'm so excited to have you on. This is so unusual, the spin on financial abundance and meditation and everything that you practice. So why don't we jump into one of my favorite topics, which I love, which is meditation. That has really helped me bounce back better and get through this crazy time of entrepreneurship, which has been not like this, and (laughs) pandemic, which has been like this, like this, like this. Totally bumpy road. So why don't you say, tell our audience a little bit about yourself and why did you create this course and why do we need meditation and how do we get started? Yeah. So I think your uh, idea of, you know, being an entrepreneur is like that roller coaster, right? And then you throw on the uh, COVID and it's roller coaster and all of a sudden things are getting to really extremes. Yes, Um, absolutely. So I'm glad I had my meditation practice prior to all of this going down. So Um, but I think similar to a lot of people probably now prior to my meditation practice, I was really like an OCD kind of person, type A, always stressed out. Me too. I have all that. (laughs) There there you go. (laughs) So a lot of that. And then in addition, I felt like I plateaued in life and reached a level that I couldn't go beyond. Yeah. For some, some limiting beliefs that I had, I was like, okay, I've reached, I've peaked, right? Okay. I'm just kind of stuck here. And then luckily enough, I had a, was on vacation and had an experience where kind of all of my judgment and, you know, everything that was holding me back, just for some reason, unbeknownst to me, kind of like left me for an hour. Awesome. And I just felt this very deep peace and ability to accomplish more um, in that moment. And then when I came home, Obviously, life came back and squeezed me to my normal uh, normal life. Right. But since I'd experienced kind of that freedom, I knew it was possible. And that's what started me on my uh, personal development growth and kind of that journey. Oh, thank you for answering the question. So how can you help our audience start if they haven't already started with a meditation practice? I know for me, it doesn't have to take a lot of time, but I always find the time because of what it does in my life. So why don't you explain how they can get started? Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of apps and different things that are free that anybody can use. I've been trained and taught and teach um, a meditation based on a mantra. Right. And so at stillness to success.com, they can get their personal mantra and get taught how to meditate based on that. Right. So that's, you know, what we teach. But again, if people don't have the 20 minutes to do that, you know, there's again, calm, insight timer, different things like that, just to start creating that habit of stillness. Um, And then you can kind of build up to the 20 minutes. Awesome. Well, I also like your topic about how can we thrive, not just survive in your book. So why don't you um, dive into that one a little bit? Yeah, so kind of like the stillness to success method and also with the book, what I found is that once people cultivate that stillness and that mental clarity, they have the ability to truly hear what it is that they want in life, the things that make them happy, things they want to do more of. 
And once they actually know what that is, they can start moving in that direction and start to really see the change and the momentum that they want in their life. So, okay. Well, that's, that's so important these days. I mean, that's why I wanted to talk to you now that I want to help everybody bounce back better from the pandemic because of all the uncertainty. So what are your secrets to balancing stress in such a material world that we're living in right now? I mean, short answer is just meditate. Like, um, because the word you said was uncertainty. And I think through a meditation practice, you become more comfortable living in an uncertain world. And once you can kind of surrender to that uncertainty and understand that it's natural and it's part of life, you don't have to fight it. And once you can kind of like go with the flow and let your guard down, it's easier for you to flourish and move forward because you're not so concerned about what could happen. You're worried about what is happening. I love that. It's so important, isn't it, to try to stay in the present moment these days? Yep. And every day. Yeah. I love that. Okay, well, I really wanted to speak to you because I love the combination that you have of financial abundance and stillness. So how can we create abundance in our life in a spiritual and financial way? Um, So I think it all starts again with creating that stillness so that you can understand what it is that you want. A lot of people that I talk to prior to the course and just in the financial advising world, when you ask somebody, what is it that you want? Right. It's really hard for them to answer that question, right? They know what they don't want. They have a general idea of maybe something that somebody else has that they like, but they don't know what it is that they truly want. So taking the time to define, you know, what are your core values? What is your purpose in life? What is your mission? Uh, do you have a vision? Like, is there a North star that you can move on on a daily basis to move forward, right? And once you have those things lined out and you have them at the forefront of your mind, you'll naturally start to find opportunities to bring things into your life that'll help you create the life that you want. I love that. Well, I really love the fact that you start with your why and your what and your vision. So what do you want? Why do you want it? And what is your vision? But what are some actual tools to actually manifest abundance into our lives? Um, So I've never been one of those people, maybe it's because my finance background, that thinks I can just sit and create an intention and it'll just come to me. Right. Um, So you need to have the action. And so part of the course is actually a daily action plan in journal where you create a list of the things that you need to help support you on your journey forward to your goals so that you can start to, again, pull them into your life and notice the opportunities. So when you know what you want, right, when those moments come, you'll naturally notice them. Um, It's kind of like that use, like the car example, right? If you buy a new car, all of a sudden you see it everywhere, even though you've never noticed it. So we're using that same type of principle, but towards your goals. And then once you actually see that opportunity, you need to seize the second and act on it and move forward. Well, thank you, Ken. You're just a wealth of information on how we can thrive, not just survive through stillness, meditation. What other tips do you have for our audience about how we can be successful financially and just weather the course? I think the best piece of advice that I've been given and that I live by is, right, just get started and it's not going to be perfect. Right. So when you can live with those two things, uh, amazing things can happen in your life any day of the week, just because, again, so many people are just stuck and paralyzed by perfection that they never get started. And if you get to the point of like you naturally move forward and just start, things become easier for you and fall into place. I love that. I just recently realized that I wasn't as much of a recovering perfectionist as I was still perfectionistic when I looked at ways that I judge myself. So I'm really trying to let go of judging myself because I realized if I'm judging myself and not kind to myself and not loving myself enough, then I'm judging others too. So, I really want to know um, 
when you are clear on your vision and you know what you want and you know why you want it and you have a meditation practice and you say just start are you do you say that you should just start like in finance for example like do you like mean just have a diversified portfolio or do you mean have cryptocurrency or do you have any other financial tips you want to leave our audience with on how to be unstoppable um well when it comes to the, the financial aspect right it depends on where you are so for some people that first step or just getting started could be opening the account right, right? like some people don't even open the account right they're like oh, i don't know where to do it and then they're like well i don't save money because i don't even have a place to save it to and like it just becomes this big thing and needs to be perfect right right whereas if you're just thinking about okay i need to start saving money right go open the bank account or the investment account and start putting money in it you know um or if you know you haven't looked at your account for years because it's just that thing back there right because so many people do that right pull out the statement or go online and look at the account and say okay what do i need to do to make that create an alignment with my goals so they have to sort of look at what they want what are their goals and how do they reverse engineer that financially so that they're actually proactively coming after what they want is that exactly true? yeah so you got it i love it no i really want to know if there's any last pieces of advice you want to leave our audience with on how to thrive not just survive and be unstoppable yeah i would say that you know this year has been very tough on everybody and a lot of it from my uh, perspective is a mental game as well. Right. So if you can sharpen your mental responses and clear out all the noise, you can find the good and move forward and just really live the life you want, no matter what's going on outside. So start your meditation practice, create some stillness in your life. And no matter what's going on, you can live the life you desire. I love that you ended on that note because mental toughness is what's required. There's yeah. no guarantees of anything else we've learned in the last couple of years. So thank you for talking about what is required of the stillness and the mental toughness and the action steps, not being passive. So where can people find you? Yeah, so they can go to kenclodoris.com. I'm sure there's a link down below and stillness to success.com. We'll have a free resource for your listeners as well. Oh, thank you so much, Ken. You're awesome. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the Power to Pivot 100th podcast launch, Whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm excited to announce I have found the missing link. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast and share it with your friends.